Now, Fauna Marine has developed a um, AI, artificial intelligence, that can actually read your test and based on information, start to forecast and even mm. tell you if you are on the cusp of a particular problem. Now, obviously, in order for the AI to work, you have to have a certain amount of data, a certain amount of test you know, into your library in order for it to see to it to be able to spot a trend and forecast. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of CVTV Workshop. My name is Carlos and I'm here with David Dockin, owner of CoralView. How are you, Dave? Good. Well, Dave. All right, so let's cut right through it. We are talking about ICP testing, specifically Fauna Marine. And yeah. I'm not going to bore, or we are not going to bore everybody telling you, you know, what Fauna Marine does and everything. What we're going to concentrate today is what makes Fauna Marine testing, ICP testing, different than yeah. everybody else's. So we're just going to talk about the differences. That is all we're going to talk about. Yeah. The, everybody knows what an ICP test does, and they do, but let's talk about the difference. What makes Fauna different? Well, I think this is really an interesting one is that uh, Fauna Marin has its own coral farm within their facility. Um, the farm does testing every day with ICP, and uh, they don't cross over with people that are testing in the lab. So the technicians and the coral farmers are totally independent. The technicians are looking at the water and the coral farmers are looking at the corals and the health of the corals. A lab technician at the ICP test only cares about the numbers in the water. He doesn't know the corals. Correct. He doesn't even, he probably doesn't even know what the, what, what you're testing in there. All he's testing is here's the water. Tell me what the levels are. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So whether the calcium level is 440 or the calcium level comes back at 600. Now, you and I and most of our viewers know that a calcium of 600 would be almost impossible. But that's because mm -hmm. we have a pre-knowledge of what corals want. A lab technician doesn't do that. So the lab technician is going to come back and say, okay, that was 600. Let me test it a second time. All right. And then test it again. And it's 600 to him. It is 600 and that's it. Right. Now that information goes back to the coral farmer and the coral farmer is going to look at it and says, wait a minute, this is wrong. It cannot be 600. The technician is going to say, well, that's what the machine is saying. Let me run it again. It comes back to 600. Okay. So at that point, there's an impasse. And instead of having yeah. the ability to, as they say, adjust the numbers to make it fit, what they're going to do is they're going to have to figure out why the water's testing 600 or what other element is influencing that calcium to test so high. And that honestly, and that is how you learn. One thing I, I learned in talking to the owner, uh, Claude Schumacher, uh, Fauna Marin, is that necessarily what we're looking at in an aquarium is not the same thing what we're looking at in nature. And what, you know, you've taken these animals and putting them in this enclosed environment in a glass box, basically. The parameters are not always gonna be the same as what we go test water maybe in Hawaii. What the corals need and want in this closed environment is different than what we're seeing in nature. In nature, you have different flow patterns coming or different mm -hmm. waters constantly being exchanged. It's almost like there's a water change every minute almost yeah. on top of that the sun is hitting at a different angle the temperature is different so when people want to recreate what's happening in fiji in your tank that's not possible Pass. it's impossible mm -hmm. this is not this right here is not nature this is a glass box in chicago and i'm going to mm -hmm. treat it like a block glass box in chicago these corals are going to tell me what they need I'm not going to tell them what they need. They tell right. me what they need. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if they, if they thrive at a little higher temperature, I'm going to give them a little higher temperature. If they don't like it, I mean, you have, it, it, this hobby is about testing. You know, if they're yeah. consuming a lot more calcium, if they're consuming a lot more of an element, then I'm not going to yeah. tell them, okay, you shouldn't consume that. No, I'm going to give them more of that element because they want that element right. because this is yeah. not nature. Okay. Yeah. And the ICP testing is a way for me to find out what 
they are asking me for. The other difference about ICP testing is that even though the tests are being sent to Germany, all tests collected here in the United States go are in the USA and they actually go down to the office in Corby, which is in Slidell, yeah. Louisiana. And then what the office at Coralview does is three days a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, they ship out the boxes, FedEx next day to Germany. This is a special partnership arrangement between Coralview and Fauna Marin that we clear customs and all that. So it makes the process a lot faster. So once it gets here, and then it, it gets to Germany, which is usually the next day, barring a weekend or some unforeseen weather, you're typically gonna see the results in like 48 hours. So the last, I saved the last one because I think the last one is the most important of all. Yeah, all this right. is really unique. So this is the one that is unique because every ICP test out there gives you, you know, it's like you get your ICP test, you get a PDF file and it shows you every, every element. And it's like your low, high, low, low, high, whatever it is. And then you're, and then you, they make your recommendation. It's like, okay, yeah, you're low on this. So add that you're low on that. You're high, make a water change in all four. And that's great. Every test does it. Okay. But the one thing that Fauna Marine has it is that they, they take it a step, at a, a step even further. Now Fauna Marine has developed a um, AI artificial intelligence that can actually read your test, start to forecast, and even mm -hmm. tell you if you are on the cusp of a particular problem. Now, obviously, in order for the AI to work, you have to have a certain amount of data, a certain amount of test, you know, into your library in order for it to see, to, to be able to spot a trend and forecast. And the cool thing about it, which is, it, is that it forecasts uh, diatoms, cyanobacteria, dinos, parasites, algae, RTN, and STN. The forecasting is based on the relationship between elements. Yes. And that is the key. Other ICP tests, they just tell you, here's the element and here's the value, but they mm -hmm. don't tell you the relationship between the elements. Some people may be saying, Carlos, well, how do they know this? And it goes back to number one, these people are coral farmers. This is where yes. they learn. This is how they can obtain this data. And that's what mm -hmm. they're giving us, what they've learned based on your ICP test. Claude Schumacher is, is, is yeah. a very reliable a, source of information. A wealth of inf information, it really exactly. is. Exactly. He, he, look, he looked at our tanks, Carlos, and he's like, hey, look at that. You need to do this, this, this. Yeah, Dave and I have been lucky enough to to have Claude come to our homes and our, and our, and our, and our offices multiple times. And just he just steps in there, looks at the tank, and starts, mm -hmm. starts telling you what you should be doing. And... Uh, and, and he's right, because then he'll tell yeah. you what you need to do to fix it. And if you do it, you can see the results. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about ICP, please head on over to support.coralview.com. One of the techs in there will be able to help you. Thank you for watching.